As most of you know by now, the first DC movie to come out after Batman vs. Superman will be Suicide Squad, which WB said they were target targeting four A-list actors for the lead roles. Now, The Hollywood Reporter is claiming that WB have approached Ryan Gosling, Tom Hardy, Margot Robbie, and Will Smith for the film. Schnepp, buy or sell these four names for Suicide Squad. If it's that poster right there, then I'm going to see the movie. That's just, that's, I think it's the After Earth Will Smith. Yeah, I, actually, I, should, I, should, I gotta give a shout out actually to Ray Ora, yeah. who does, who's one of our production guys, and he put this poster yeah. together. Ray, I love it. you're doing a very good job of making me not want to see Suicide Squad. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, the, this group of people, I mean, I, we know Suicide Squad is like a, a very long list of different uh, villains. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, it's yeah. a constant moving roster, changing roster, so we've heard there's gonna be three or four main characters and then eight or nine, you know, strangely disabled supervillains who either get chucked out of plane, do it, you know, do whatever. Who knows what's going to happen? But, you know, seeing this group of actors together, I don't mind it. I think the way the, it was a weird pick when I first heard a Suicide Squad. Why are they leading? With and then I was like, ah, they're trying to counter with Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm. Makes perfect sense. Mm. They're That's trying to counter. Really they're trying to counter program. They're like, oh, Marvel's slapping this weird '70s strange thing, or the you know, and then the rebooted you know '90s Guardians of the Galaxy was definitely a help, but still, people didn't know what the heck it was. Same thing with Suicide Squad. Yeah. It's a head scratcher. What's that? Chuck a bunch of really great actors in there. Have a lot of fun. You could pop off a brand new uh, you know property. So oh. I don't know that I give any you know, uh, credence at all to the report. And I believe the report. I do believe that Warner Brothers has, remember, the, the report says they've approached these actors. But what Schnepp and I were talking, you know, before the, the show started, and I said, you know, if I was making a movie and I put in a phone call to Will Smith's rep, you can run a report that John Campia's movie has approached Will Smith about the role. Well, that's true. It doesn't mean that he's going to be in it. Tom Hardy is an interesting name there because he's already been a bad guy in the Warner Cinematic Universe mm -hmm. playing Bane. Do Although, it. Do your Bane voice. Let's hear it. I'm, no, I'm not doing Bane. <laughs> Somebody do Bane. I'm not going to do it. But I... I I'll do a Suicide Squad. There you go. <laughs> but, I mean, he would probably look completely different in a Suicide yeah. Squad movie. That's fine. But So I, I believe they've all gotten phone calls. I don't believe that means there's any necessarily good or bad possibility that they're actually being in the movie. Plus, the other thing is this. Will Smith has kind of proved in the last number of years he only wants to be in a movie if he is the definitive sp star of the movie. Like, remember the whole thing with Quentin Tarantino? Uh, Tarantino wanted him for... Uh, Django. Not, yeah, for Django mm -hmm. and Change. And he was into it and then said, you know, basically he didn't like that Christoph Waltz's character was getting so much attention. I should be the guy that kills the bad guy. And he pulled out as a result. So it seems like he's only going to appear in movies if his son's in it or if he's the definitive star. And, you know, that's a criticism, but at the same time, the dude has enough success that he's earned the right to do that if that's what he wants. If that's what he wants to do, he's earned that kind of marquee status. Um, and I think when he wants to turn it on, Smith is a hell mm -hmm. of a good actor. Mm -hmm. But for those reasons and others, I, I don't really think this is going to be our Suicide Squad. Be very cool if it was, though. I mean, tomorrow if Warner Brothers dropped an announcement that this is our Suicide Squad, color me extremely <laughs> impressed. Very impressed. Anyway, Mary. Yeah, I agree. I think this is the perfect cast for the Suicide Squad. I mean, from what I know of it, it's like a group of supervillains that are very forced into doing good that they don't necessarily want to do. So I think if you're going to cast... Super villains that have to make good. I think this is a really good group, but um, like you said, it's early days, and an offer doesn't mean anything. And and also to your point about Will Smith, I feel like as an actor, I would hope that he would just want to do good material. And it makes me sad that I don't get to see him in more stuff because he wants to be the guy, you know, leading the pack. When I feel like he's depriving the world of of what could be some amazing performances because he wants to be front and center. I feel like that's kind of sad. Yeah, know. but he could be wanting to play ball. You never know, like, why his name even got popped in. It could. Yeah. You're right. It's like, yeah, there's an offer out and it's been rebuffed. Or it could be something where it's like these people have all been talked to like a month ago and they're like, all right, drop the press release, say we're right. talking, you know, just, just to get everything going. But, yeah, I could see the, all the chemistry working with all of them, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm not saying that Will Smith, what I'm saying here is that in this collection, where you've got Ryan Gosling and Tom Hardy, right? Will Smith is not going to be the standout star. Correct. Now, that's not to say he's not on par with those he, guys. He is he in this is. poster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think he's completely on par oh, as yeah. an actor with those other two guys. Yep. But it's just that he would be one of the ensemble as opposed yeah. to the star. And I, I just don't know if he's at the point in his career where he wants to do that. Yeah. I hope he is. That'd yeah. be pretty cool. Oh, I got to ask one more thing though. Harley Quinn. 
If they do Suicide Squad, do they introduce Harley Quinn into it? Before her being, having no association with Joker, having a, can Harley Quinn be a standalone character on her own in something like the Suicide Squad? I think it'd be a smart thing in the DC Cinematic Universe to introduce Harley Quinn without the Joker, because the Joker could always be, remember this, this is, as far as I get it, this is an older Batman, and right. if this is all tied together, then uh -huh. the Joker's already been around, so yeah. maybe Harley Quinn's already established in this cinematic universe. It's hard to tell how they're gonna work it, but Batman's been around, and he retired, and now he's coming back, so who knows? They're saying, you know, they're gonna have a lot of little, little couple of de uh, you know guest stars, maybe Batman will, will jump in, you know? Probably. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.